You say travel damages, you know, and as much traveling as I did during the past five weeks, uh, I think I would be in bad shape if it didn't make my scope at least more broad than it was before I left. Uh, one of the things that I learned uh, in the Muslim world, I didn't see any racism. I didn't see any conflict between the people over there because of the colors of their skin or the differences in color of skin. And uh, in every country that I entered, there were Muslims who were black, brown, red, yellow, and white. And there was no racist attitude in any of them. Then when I was in Arabia uh, during the pilgrimage, uh, I had many different occasions when I would uh, be involved with persons who would be considered white in America, who would be called white, they had blue eyes, blonde hair, and white skin. Yet they themselves uh, didn't act like American whites act toward non-whites. Uh, there was a, a bond, uh, a mutual understanding. There was a, an attitude of brotherhood practiced at all times. Uh, I got, and I analyzed it, at least, or I should say at least I studied it, because here in America, uh, our experience always was it was almost impossible to find whites who didn't act white, especially around non-whites. So the conclusion that I reached was that these people who had accepted the religion of Islam, who had accepted the existence of one God, automatically the chain reaction effect that this has, they would also have to accept the fact that uh, there's everybody belongs to one family, one human family. So by accepting the oneness of God and the, and the oneness of the human family, I believe the tendency to look upon each other according to the differences in color automatically was eliminated. Uh, since they didn't regard themselves as white, per se, as the American white man does, they didn't act white. They acted like humans. They acted like they were part of the human family and all others present were part of the human family. Now this was the first experience, or the first time that I had ever experienced this. And as I wrote to uh, some friends, uh, if the religion of Islam could eliminate racism from among the societies that exist in uh, Africa, Asia, uh, Europe, and uh, Arabia, then it would do well for the American white man to expose himself to, get to a better understanding of the religion of Islam, and perhaps it, it can remove some of the uh, racism, which is like a cancer that is destroying the American society today. And the only thing that ever gave me the impression that there was any hope of eliminating racism from the hearts and the minds and the attitude and behavior of the American white man was the fact that I had uh, seen proof positive in the Muslim world that the religion of Islam had removed it from them.